Horizon Forbidden West will feature a menagerie of familiar and new machines. Currently, 27 machines have been confirmed to make an appearance, 12 of which are new to the Forbidden West. Machines will have expanded behaviors, and overridden machines can be commanded between different stances. The bristleback resembles a large warthog. It appears to have blazed lines running under its belly, connecting to canisters on its rear. Bristlebacks will become highly aggressive when threatened, utilizing their tusks as weapons. This is the fourth Forbidden West machine to be named. However, this is the first to be given a classification, acquisition. The burrower is a quadrupedal machine with an elongated body, long tail, and short limbs, which it uses to paddle through the water. It is based on an otter. Burrowers appear to travel in groups, moving through the water similar to how watchers move on land. Burrowers can emit high-pitched sounds to alert their allies while also stunning their enemies. They can also tunnel underground to resurface in unexpected locations. The clamberjaw is a small simian machine that resembles a baboon. It possesses a mask-like component that is capable of covering its face. There are two power cells on its back. The clamberjaw is fierce, fast, and agile. It uses its claws and tail to salvage scrap. It can cling to walls with ease and possesses a range of abilities that debilitate opponents. Clamberjaws gather in large packs. The Claw Strider is a combat machine appearing in Horizon Forbidden West, as well as the Horizon Zero Dawn comic. The Claw Strider resembles a Dromiosaur. It stands bipedally, with claws on each limb, an enlarged hooked claw on each foot, and sharp metal plating that resembles feathers. However, its lower jaws resemble chainsaws, and two containers can be seen on its back, possibly metal vessels. They've also been shown to have a power cell on their underside. Claw striders are seen moving in packs and appear to be highly aggressive. They are fast and agile and will relentlessly pursue their quarry. Additionally, they are highly territorial and will closely guard their land and the machines within. The Claw Strider is the second combat machine from Horizon Forbidden West to be revealed after the Tremor Tusk. Canonically speaking, it is the first machine from the Forbidden West to appear in Karja territory. The Rollerback resembles a pangolin, bearing a back lined with metal plates. A container-like object hangs from its belly, somewhat like the cargo container of a behemoth. True to its namesake, the Rollerback is capable of rolling into a ball and flattening anything in its path, leaving a trail of fire behind. The Rollerback is able to repair itself by summoning and reapplying its plating, an ability no known machine shares. The Shell Snapper resembles an enormous snapping turtle, with large amounts of foliage covering its shell. This machine guards the shores and swamps of the Forbidden West too. It can dig itself in and lie dormant for weeks, during which its impenetrable shell can become covered by the surrounding foliage. Despite this, it is capable of readying itself for battle in moments, effectively ambushing intruders. Despite its size, the Shell Snapper is quite fast and capable of leaping. It seems to be able to stretch its neck a small amount in order to bite opponents, similar to real-life snapping turtles. It is also capable of firing a power blast at targets, presumably pressurized water. Not only is its shell capable of withstanding powerful attacks, but as it takes damage, it will build up a large amount of energy, and after a few more attacks, will release as a large burst, capable of stunning multiple hunters. The Slitherfang is a large serpentine machine closely reminiscent of a cobra. The Slitherfang is capable of coiling around ruins and spitting acid. They appear to be solitary machines. As the Slitherfang takes damage during battle, it will change its attack pattern. The Slitherfang has the ability to fire pressurized acid streams, with the acid being being generated in a tank at the base of its throat. It can also use the rattle on its tail to fire bolts of lightning which generate a wide-reaching wave of electricity. On its neck, the Slitherfang has multiple nodes it can use to temporarily stun and deafen its enemies. The Sunwing resembles a pterosaur, with flexible solar panels as wings. Sunwings have photovoltaic wings which they use to store energy, possibly as part of their function as acquisition class machines. They can be found patrolling the skies of the Forbidden West, frequently hovering at great heights to absorb as much solar energy as possible. Sunwings are particularly fast and agile in the air. This is second acquisition class machine to be named in Horizon Forbidden West. The Tidrapper is a large amphibious plesiosaur style machine. 
On its back is a half-disc structure. The Tidripper filters sediments for resources and is capable of devastating attacks on both land and in water. The Tremor Tusk resembles a mammoth with four tusks. It possesses numerous weapons along with heavy armor plating. Tremor Tusks can be encountered naturally in the wilds of the Forbidden West, but they can also be found under the control of a faction known as the Regala. Tremor Tusks utilized by the Regala are specially outfitted similar to war elephants of old, making them an even greater threat. They like to circle their target and shoot them with the cannons on their side. Some are like a Thunderjaws disc launchers but purple. The Tremor Tusk is also shown to be able to use its trunk as a flamethrower, similarly to a fire bellaback, swinging its head side to side to cover a wide area in flames. This is likely fueled by the large storage unit on its stomach. After a certain amount of damage, it will rear up and throw the humans off its back. It also tends to charge at the player. Tell us in the comments down below about your favorite new machine from Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.